Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. Ripple has proposed the new XLS uh, 1.12 update that includes both XLS 30 and XLS 39 in this proposal. So XLS 30 is going to bring native automated market makers to the XRPL. We've been talking about this probably for over a year in the Zen Lounge. It's supposedly the secret sauce. David Schwartz calls it the automated market, the automated money maker uh, as a nickname. And uh, we've been talking about it for a long time. It's going to bring public liquidity pools to the XRPL. It's going to enable the trading of digital assets in automated liquidity pools and enable developers to address a wider audience of DeFi stakeholders. Now, another thing that we haven't talked as much about, which is really, really important for tokenization coming to the XRP ledger, is XLS39, which is also packaged in this new proposed upgrade. XLS39 will enable the clawback feature, a new lightweight addition to the Ripple 1.12 code base. If adopted, the XRP L mainnet clawback will be will provide an opt-in capability for newly issued assets to be clawed back via the trust line. So if we want a regulatory uh, institutions to come issue assets onto uh, the XRPL blockchain, we can't expect them to want to have clawback enabled. Most of the other leading blockchains already have this, like Stellar has this, and this is why they attract big uh big companies to tokenize and issue assets onto the XRP ledger, even USDC, because they can enable a clawback feature. We'll read more about this. So when I'm reading both, you have XLS 30 and XLS 39 coming in the same package. It shows me that they're ready to start tokenizing regulated assets onto the XRP ledger because you need that clawback and you need to have sufficient liquidity and order books, healthy order books to maintain, um, you know, healthy and give also incentives for people to actually want to issue. They want to be able to issue with the best automated market making tech. So um, to bring either of these features to the main net, because XRPL is decentralized, there is going to be community voting via the XRPL validators. The validators will have to maintain 80%. The validators must approve the amendment by updating their vote to a yes and 80 plus percent have to have a yes for a minimum threshold of two weeks. So let's say, uh, you know, 79% or no, let's say 80% or 80 plus percent of the vo uh, validators vote yes for 12 days. On the 12th day, if somebody changes their vote to no, the count will have to restart. And have to start back from the beginning once you, once you get 80 plus percent again. So you have to have 80 plus percent for two consecutive weeks then boom, you upgrade the software and we will have automated market making and liquidity pools that allows you to put two assets. You'll put two different, an XRP and XRPL token into a liquidity pool. And you're able to earn commissions on the automated market maker, which will enable a whole new utility and use case for XRP holders. You don't have to just hold and speculate. You can provide liquidity and earn commissions depending on how big your pool size is in the relative pool that you're in. So uh, there are some documents that they're asking everybody to review. First, we will look at the actual uh, GitHub. So this is the proposed 1.12. Uh, this is very technical. I'll put this in the description below if you would like to check it out. But the first proposal is the Automated Market Maker XLS30. We can learn more about this. It's an Automated Market Maker is a protocol for decentralized exchange, a DEX acronym that prices access through an algorithm rather than using an order book like a traditional exchange. AMMs allow you to trade at a certain exchange rate on DEX without having a counterparty. Instead of having to find a neighbor who is willing to trade USD for Euro or go to the airport currency exchange counter, the AMA allows you to exchange tokens freely. AMMs also allows people to trade tokens peer-to-peer -peer through liquidity pools, which are token reserves secured by a smart contract. The more tokens available to trade, the lower the exchange fee to swap between the tokens. So remember, uh, platform. So once this is enabled, you'll need to have an XRPO wallet and you go to a platform. One of the platforms that are ready to go with the XLS30 is uh, Sologenic. They said on a flip of the switch, once the proposal is good, 
they will have the pools ready for people to start providing liquidity to and earning. The next is the clawback. Like I said, this is crucial for tokenization of assets coming to the XRPL. Uh, for regulatory purposes, some issuers must have the ability to recover issued tokens after they distribute to accounts. For example, if an issue were to discover that tokens were sent to an account sanctioned for illegal activity, the issuer could recover or claw back the funds. Issuers can create tokens that can claw back by adding a special code command flag to issue the account. So both of these together, I created a joke. If we do XLS39 plus XLS30, 30 plus six, 30 plus 39 equals 69. 30, XLS30 plus XLS39. We add those up to get together, we get XLS69. These two together are going to cause possibly, this is not financial advice, this is some hopium right now, but it's going to be better than sex. XLS30 plus 39 is going to be better than sex, better than 69. That's what we got going on. This is going to be great. And even Fabio commented on my joke. Uh, we are at the edge of development with XLS30. Basically, if we see something change in the code, we fix it immediately. They're basically ready to deploy. This is in the Sologenic community chat. So we have been following you impatient. We've been giving video updates constantly here in the Zen Lounge. I do recommend you guys joining my Discord channel. It's only 15 bucks a month. Definitely worth it. Um, the link's always below in the description to join my website community. There's so much value that you guys will get. But also, let's just talk about some general updates. This weekend, uh, Saturday in Las Vegas, uh, we've been talking about this as well. Um, Blue Moon and Co. is hosting a Web3 meetup event. And it's also uh, basically a fundraiser for their Meals for Kids program. Then Lounge Validator will be contributing plates of food to... Uh, people in need so shout out to everybody staking to the zen lounge validator we're contributing to another charity event helping kids in need get plates of food in the downtown la, LA area and this is a must attend event for all crypto enthusiasts in southern california la and of course our faithful blue moon og so everybody that got a necklace from blue moon you're going to be able to get complimentary hookah they're going to be open bat open bar they're going to be gift bags all types of cool stuff happening at this event i hope to see you there a um, bunch of people in the community are going to be there. And last but not least, Sologenic Bears. The airdrop is still in motion. Shout out to everybody who received their Sologenic Bear. Still a bunch of people need to claim. What you'll do is go to the collection. You'll turn off the sell tab and you'll click um, You'll click uh, for you. And then the address, the, the NFTs that are being sent to you, airdropped, will pop right up. So this has been a great... Uh, free NFT airdrop that has allowed people to learn how to use NFTs on the XRP ledger, allowed people to get their first NFT and start learning uh, how it all works. Uh, also, there's been 1,700 in trading volume, which is pretty impressive because uh, all of these uh, secondary sales go directly to community members that receive the airdrop. So it's all peer-to-peer -peer trading and the people that uh, put their NFTs on the secondary market, uh, somebody actually bought it off them. So the floor price is currently $100 for a Sologenic Bear and it goes directly to another community member. It doesn't go to a foundation, a CEO, doesn't go, no profits are taken from the user. It goes all to the user. So it's pretty cool. That's all I got for you guys. I got these updates on Twitter today and I was like, I got to make a YouTube video right now. I am hyped and this is going to be good. It's going to be better than good. Like I said, XLS 30 plus 39 equals 69. It's going to be better than sex. Peace out, everybody.